Hello, welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Friday, June 11th, the Friday before proper six. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. O God, you are the tree of life, offering shelter to all the world. Graft us into yourself and nurture our growth, that we may bear your truth and love to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We turn now to the pages of Holy Scripture, beginning in Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you when you are in trouble. May the God of Jacob make you secure. May he send you help from his temple. From Zion may he give you support. May he take notice of your offerings. May he accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant your heart's desire. May he bring all your plans to pass. Then we will shout for joy over your victory. We will rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now I am sure that the Lord will deliver his chosen king. He will intervene for him from his holy heavenly temple and display his mighty ability to deliver. Some trust in chariots and others in horses, but we depend on the Lord our God. They will fall down, but we will stand firm. The Lord will deliver the king. He will answer us when we call to him for help. Our readings continue in the first book of Samuel, the 10th chapter. Then Samuel took a small container of olive oil and poured it on Saul's head. Samuel kissed him and said, The Lord has chosen you to lead his people Israel. You will rule over the Lord's people, and you will deliver them from the power of their enemies who surround them. This will be your sign that the Lord has chosen you as leader over his inheritance. When you leave me today, you will find two men near Rachel's tomb at Zelza on Benjamin's border. They will say to you, The donkeys you have gone looking for have been found. Your father is no longer concerned about the donkeys, but has become anxious about you two. He is asking, What should I do about my son? As you continue on from there, you will come to the tall tree of Tabor. At that point, three men who are going up to God at Bethel will meet you. One of them will be carrying three young goats, one of them will be carrying three round loaves of bread, and one of them will be carrying a container of wine. They will ask you how you're doing, and will give you two loaves of bread. You will accept them. Afterward, you will go to Gibeah of God, where there are two where there are Philistine officials. When you enter the town, you will meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place. They will have harps, tambourines, flutes, and lyres, and they will be prophesying. Then the Spirit of the Lord will rush upon you, and you will prophesy with them. You will be changed into a different person. When these signs have taken place, do whatever your hand finds to do, for God will be with you. You will go down to Gilgal before me. I am going to join you there to offer burnt offerings and to make peace offerings. You should wait for seven days until I arrive and tell you what to do. Finally, in the letter to the Hebrews, the 11th chapter. By faith, Abel offered God a greater sacrifice than Cain, and through his faith he was commended as righteous, because God commended him for his offerings. And through his faith he still speaks, though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he did not see death, and he was not found because God took him up. For before his removal he had been commended as having pleased God. Now, without faith, it is impossible to please him, for the one who approaches God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, when he was warned about things not yet seen, with reverent regard constructed an ark for the deliverance of his family. Through faith, he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
now that we've dwelt in God's word. Let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. <laughs> I'm praying with a blue screen. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Loving Creator, we asked for strength, and you gave us difficulties to make us strong. We asked for wisdom, and you gave us problems to solve. We asked for prosperity, and you gave us purpose and brains to use. We asked for courage, and you gave us fears to overcome. We asked for patience, and you gave us situations where we were forced to wait. We asked for love, and you gave us troubled people to help. We asked for justice, and you called us to be just and lead with integrity. Lord, we have received nothing that we asked for or wanted, and yet we received everything that we needed. For this, we give thanks. Amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.